Using the power of football to help some of the most vulnerable in their community. Last Legs FC, working with staff at the Meadows, are running a new walking football group for those with disabilities and mental health conditions. Chris Conway has more. It's the beautiful game played at a slightly slower pace. The goal of this walking football group in the Meadowell to show their favourite sport is a match for all. We have people with physical and learning difficulties and access needs. Um, people, we have a couple who attend who have autism, um, people who've kind of suffered from strokes in the past or have mental health, health issues. Walking football is a non-contact sport with the aim of keeping the ball on the ground. Headers aren't allowed. After starting up six months ago, the sessions at the Meadows have grown in popularity, encouraging people with a range of disabilities. Tony is a volunteer during games. David is the coach who started up the project after tasting sporting success with his own walking football team, Last Legs FC. I used to be a service user here at the centre, and um, when that came to an end, I started volunteering here and we set up a, a weekly football session. It's um, giving something back really, so um, I've enjoyed playing walking football for about a year now. Uh, it's really in increased my fitness, so on top of that, as I say, it's just uh, giving back a bit to the community and uh, I've enjoyed playing with the lads and getting the lads, the clients that are here. Walking football is a sport firmly on the rise. Currently, there are 660 teams playing right across the UK, with 27 of those in our region. According to the Walking Football Association, over 70% of those playing do so for social interaction. You know, it's great for not just fitness, but it's great for your mental health. Uh, it's great for your personal well-being. It, it's got a good social side. I mean, after the sessions here, we all go in into the... Uh, room inside and have a biscuit and a cuppa, you know, and a bit of a chin wag. The group at the Meadows say anyone is welcome to join in. They don't keep scores or chase trophy glory. For them, the biggest victory is seeing their players go home happy. Chris Conway, ITV News, North Tyneside.